Radishisan. Radishisan. <laughs> if you saw it on YouTube, you saw a very cut version. If you can see a full uncut version, though, you get over to Patreon or channel memberships. I'll put the link in the description below. Pinning up with a good check. Radishisan. And at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review. Radishisan. I like that one the best. I don't think it's going to have those kind of vibes. Radishisan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what the film is. To be honest with you, I mean we've already seen it. We're definitely a third of the way. Yeah, through. oh, all the way, and it fully gives that vibe. Ready to say? I would do that too. Oh, she's gonna kill her. This guy gets constant emergency phone calls. That's one hell of a jug of water, friend. Oh! oh. She has six fingers. Holy crap, it's horrific. You have six fingers on your right hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one too. Oh, but it's not a thumb, it's a pinky. Tag team. Wait, it was a man the whole time! That looked like Joe Biden. <laughs> Papa, inna niga tongleya. Ma'am, is Papa my baby? Inna the psycho and the lady or boy Christopher, ma'am. That one evidence in the photo lerke. If I want to trace out, panna thamne teri ve teri yade. So then thamne thamne thamne. Yo, inna diver panna pakri yada case hai. Police hai re, wife hai samne yade. Four days. That's how I'd feel if Joe Biden appeared in my living room. <laughs> Once again, you're letting the killer get... <laughs> Dude, run out of the room. You don't need her permission. You little... What, what's happening? Let's talk about it, shall we? Yeah, keep standing there like you did with that girl in the van. She's not safe. What happened? Yeah, please tell me. I'll just stand here and let you tell me all the play-by-play. -play. I, I don't think he's your guy. <laughs> all right. Stop interfering. Back, back, me, 
அவர் எப்படி ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்றது அந்த சைக்கோக்கு வலது கையில ஆறு வரல் இருக்கும் வெங்கட் இந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் எல்லாரும் கொடுத்து உடனே அலர்ட் பண்ண லெஃப்ட் ஹேண்ட் ஐ thought it was his right hand that was the picture கிறிஸ்டோபர் ஹலோ ஹலோ கிறிஸ்டோபர் கீழ இருக்கு It's going to open the door and hit him with the door because he's standing too close to the freaking door. Hey, he did something. <laughs> Told you it was on his right hand. Idiot. Girl! Hello. Hello. Why are you talking to him? Put a bullet in his head. hitting it on your hand isn't going to reload it Keep hitting him. Don't let him get up. <laughs> Why'd you throw it away? Right, that's gonna happen when you don't actually want to kill him. side of the space பள்ளி மாணவிகளை கடத்தி கொலை செய்து வந்த கிறிஸ்டோபர் என்ற சைக்கோ கொலையாளி நேற்றிரவு போலீசாரால் சுட்டுக் கொல்லப்பட்டார். அதற்காக துணை ஆணையர் லட்சுமி தலைமையிலான தனி படையினருக்கு முதலமைச்சரும் பொதுமக்களும் பாராட்டுகளை தெரிவித்தனர். சோ நீங்க அன்னைக்கு சொன்ன சைக்கோ கதையே இந்த சமயத்துல படமா இருந்தா நல்லா இருக்கும்னு தோணுது. ஸ்கிரிப்ட் ஆபீஸ் கொண்டு வாங்க. பேசுவோம். சரிங்களா? Double check in here. I don't think there should be anything so you never know. Yeah, we skipped the a song in the end of Dahoom that people got. Oh really? We had never heard that. Oh, a pretty sensual song that a lot of people Oh, what us. a bummer. I know. It's my fault. At the end of Dahoom or Dahoom 2? Uh, Dahoom. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can revisit that maybe. at some point. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, that was nice. I uh it was it was I think a nice thriller. It kept me engaged even though it does have some issues with it for sure. Yeah. But uh there I think there were a lot of nice pieces. and it, it at minimum kept me engaged throughout even though there are some <laughs> there are some things that are like okay well that's that's a little silly yeah. and maybe i don't know if the the end there were they in, it wasn't implying that it was just all in his head for his script right oh no 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 they weren't implying the, 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 no, no, all, no right? not, not at all what they were saying at the end was it's the right time it's the right time to do the movie now and he's like well you thought that was a good story i was part of this story i didn't know if they were yeah 
going to kind of go in that direction because I was like, well, why did you bring in the filmmaking aspect in the beginning of it? Right. For is like, is, is all this just him narrating his script kind right, of thing? Right, right, right. Well, no, no. But I, I enjoyed it. There were, there were parts that I really enjoyed. And then there were also parts that I thought were, whether it was budgetary or whatever, or also just like, uh, I feel like we should have thought about that a little more. Yep. Um, it, 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 it wasn't a perfect film by any stretch. But and especially towards the end, it got a little off the rails. There. Yeah, it did. But uh, I think it, it was definitely a, a, a passable one that I thought at minimum kept me engaged throughout. And I thought it was nice. What yeah, do you think? I agree. Um, um, if it was it was t- teetering on silver territory, but I'll give it a bronze today. Yeah. Um, yeah and it's primarily for everything you just said, yeah. including stuff about it with the end. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it was very obvious. Yeah. They they did the best that they could with the budget they had, which is why the makeup is so bad. <laughs> um, Very Mike Myers inspired. Yeah, and there was no surprise in the fact that I, you could tell early on yeah. that's not a woman. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'd be redundant. Everything yeah. you said, I agree with. Um, there was parts of, like, the end that I did actually like, and I thought if it was done correctly, could have been really cool. Like, his yeah. fighting with the magic, I thought was actually, like, kind of well done. It, it um, actually, yeah, that actually was kind of cool for a split second. Like, oh, we just, yeah. we upped it a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, just certain elements that, that in the beginning, I actually felt like they followed logic pretty well, uh, even throughout. I'm like... Like certain times when you're like, well, if you just break, they'll, they'll break right. right into you. And then and yeah, it happened. And they did it. So you, you kind of st- step along with the audience in the film. And then it kind of like they kept thing things kept happening. It's like, why are you doing that? Right. And that's that's OK. in horror films and, and stuff like that. And occasionally like you should have done this. But right. in, in, in terms of other logical things, it's it's a lot harder to uh, to forgive all the time. Yeah. But I think there were a lot of nice elements in the movie, though. Um, There's more nice. Yeah, it's I, not. A, it's you not. You mentioned a, it many times. The score was actually, score was really good. Fantastic. Actually. Yeah, I score thought it was, was really, nice. really good. I thought it was pretty pretty grounded. Yeah, most of the time, I thought everybody's performances. There were no glaring yeah. problems with any of the acting. I know they um, probably had to do dubbing because of uh, yeah budgetary. Issues. Uh, of course, yeah. Which we have reached a point now where it's <laughs> yeah. it's expected. We understand. Yeah, uh, but. Yeah. yeah. Then towards the beginning, like, um, or even the first half, when they were catching the pedophile, obviously I was engaged. I was, en- I was, like I said, I was engaged throughout. It's just, um, it kept having certain things kept happening, and I'm like, oh man, you should, <laughs> yeah, should have thought about that just a little bit more. And and, f- and for the amount of time he uh, and as both the mother and the son is on screen. Uh, the amount of time you have to look at the bad makeup, it yeah. really pulls suspension of disbelief. And you're like, oh, bless their hearts. They didn't have the money. Maybe you should have gone a different way with this. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Um, and some of the things were just, um, like, too convenient at times. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. and the story, even though, like like I said, I was engaged, but it was a very predictable style of, of story. Obviously, yeah. there wasn't anything that was, like, a massive revelation in it. No. And it doesn't have to be. Like, we've seen many films that are, like, fairly standard, and it was entertaining, and it did its job. Not everything has to break the mold, for sure. Um, but it was predictable, and then there were times that it was like, hmm, that seems a little too convenient yeah. to, uh, to be something that, that you should put in a film. Right. And when when people say that, it's... It's because audiences have seen so many films, psycho thrillers of killers and stuff. Um, and so to make one now is actually probably, I bet, pretty difficult. Yeah. Because a lot of people know the talking points of of a thriller, mm-hmm. of this happens, a twist happens. We knew that the the pedophile guy, even though I, I do like that he hit him in the dick. He, uh, that was, <laughs> that was very great. satisfying. Um, we were like, okay. You already said he wasn't a rapist, and this is a little too convenient. Too convenient. And early in the movie. Right. Um, so you kind of knew that was the plot point. I didn't have a problem with that plot point. But you- and you knew another plot point was there's going to be kidnappings of the girls that are close to them. Yeah. That's going to be foregone, and then it's going to become personal. Um, it did. There were some nice things of like, oh, no, they captured that that other girl that, that he knew, um, and then she's in the trunk. Which, and- where they didn't put the money in for the makeup on the murderer and the son mm-hmm. aspect of it we commented quite a bit yeah. they did a great job on the corpses on the yeah i i'm assuming the actors were in the bag yeah and they kind of just did them up yeah um especially the last one when he's carrying her it looked like the actress was a, there. a real yeah. 
person was in it. So I'm assuming they did they VFX them and, and put all the um, kind of blood and, and stuff on them. And so there were certain elements that I thought worked very, very well. Um, and it was it was a nice and it kind of kept its pace. But I think I think you could actually take this cut. Cut some things out even in terms of like the logistical logical things and maybe write those parts slightly better clean it up in editing a little bit. I think you could release it, and I think it would... Even though I know a bunch of people that love this film, obviously, but I'm just talking about for me, I think you'd take, take the exact cut of this and, and or, um, cut a um, copy of this and cut it, and I think you could probably make it a, a, an even better film. And while there were some things that were the predictables that we just talked about, there were yeah. some other things that I thought were quite original. I liked the originality of the fact that the call the, the calling card of... This person is that they do the magic show at the place two days before the event. Yeah. And that there's he he's able through the hearing aid to hear the recording of the music played on the piano and they try to play it over the radio. I thought that was the part that was unpredictable. I thought they were going to get a call in because the ego of the killer yeah, was going to go, who's playing my music? Yeah. And the fact that they didn't do that was a nice yeah unpredictability. Yeah, so that's I, I did I like that. I but that was one of the elements that I was like. How do we just know people are going to be listening to the radio at this specific moment? Obviously, he's hoping you're hoping maybe he's just it's a long shot. Um, that's something. One of, that's one of those things. That I'm like, yeah, I don't know if that would work out exactly the way you think it would. Yeah, um, because who listens to the radio? Anymore? I also <laughs> and, and other things of like, why do you need her permission? Once he once he uncuffed you leave. Why are you waiting on her? Well, I, to I think help he was you? still trying to get her help. Why? So they, they, she, they, she's they, clearly made it evident she's not going to well, help he doesn't, throughout the it, whole film. He doesn't want to shoot him. <laughs> well, that's the other thing is telling the guy on the phone, just shoot, shoot him, just shoot, shoot him, him, just shoot him, and then you, you get the chance. And you don't Put shoot the him. weapon down. Don't well, hurt my daughter. That's one of the things that we're talking about. It's yeah. like It just doesn't make literally sense. Literally open the thing, pop! Bow, right in the head. <laughs> or in the shoulder, and you, Somewhere. Can, you can still have him fight a little bit. Just yeah. like, just Get him. You, you shouldn't have told him earlier to just shoot him, and then you not immediately shoot exactly. him. Exactly. That strains uh, credulity. That, that's one of those. <laughs> but again, more to like. More to, more to like. More to like, and I think it's one that um, I have no issues with people saying that they really enjoy this film. No, um, not at all. That they that they like it. Uh, I've also. Uh, it's not platinum. Don't go there. No, but um, I think it's it's definitely a, a nice thriller. Not as nice as like a, a Rorschach. No, because that one was so high um, um, intelligence. Very. This one is more of a standard. Um, there's a killer. He's murdering girls. Um, kind of got to get him. That's a, more of a standard style. And huge credit for doing something. And probably the best thing about the movie is the fact that they're doing something quite original and felt oftentimes Malayali in yeah. terms of it being not your standard fare that the producers are thinking box office juggernaut let's make our money back this felt like this was something that somebody had a real clear really, vision for yeah. with story mm -hmm. and wanted to make this film to absolutely. make a film absolutely yeah you didn't just have mass moments no in fact i think there wasn't really any kind of mass moments outside of the cool magic at the end i thought was actually but they even kept cool. that pretty grounded um end of his fight when he, he yeah did, he didn't go full rosh nikonthan and in, in, in not at his all ass not at all uh, which uh you know i love but the composer we didn't haven't shouted out his name here but um gibran gibran i hope i'm pronouncing that right i don't but know if we've heard him before it was a really memorable score yeah i liked it a lot um i thought it was really unique and creepy at times uh -huh. when it needed to be creepy um in a kind of original of, of, Have we seen that one? Manavan. Manavan. No, we haven't seen Manavan. I, I know of Manavan, though. Uh, I don't think we've seen I it. I think this is our first. Oh, no. Hold on. This is his past stuff. No, 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 no. He's done quite a bit. Oh, yes. Only 2021. He has done a lot. Uh, he has. There's no way we haven't heard him before. We maybe have heard him in... in in song and like reactions, movie reactions. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm just going through his filmography to. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Me, you guys, let us know if we have. Um, that'd be really. But I thought he did. It was a fantastic one of the the highlights of the film. For yeah, sure, agreed. Is his score and the yep. creepiness of it, and tying in the 
doing because he was he was a piano player. Yeah. Um, I thought the set design of especially his room. Yeah, it was nice. I, I was I thought it was really cool. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of cool elements in this. Um, and it was it, it. I'm glad it wasn't one of those that by the end we're just oh god. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, there are there are those that it just it gets to be too much at times and it never got there. It's just there's certain elements that I think you could have made the film even better uh, than it already was. But um, thank you so much for for watching along with us. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very cut-up version. If you'd like to see a full and cut version of this and other Tamil films, uh, you can head to Patreon or channel memberships uh, to check those out. Let us know what you thought about the film, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what your thoughts on it are, uh, and what should be our next Tamil watch-along. And anything from this composer, because yeah. that was nice enough that I want to hear more of what he does. Let us know down below.